हेलो इंजीनियर्स वन इंपॉर्टेंट अनाउंसमेंट फॉर यू आई सी बैंगलोर हैज रिलीज द एडमिशन नोटिस फॉर द अकेडमिक ईयर ट्वेंटी फाइव ट्वेंटी सिक्स यू हैव टू जस्ट विजिट द वेबसाइट ऑफ आई सी बैंगलोर वेर यू कैन फाइंड दिस पेज यू कैन क्लिक ऑन दिस नोटिफिकेशन लिंक एंड यू विल बी रीडायरेक्टेड टू अ पी डी एफ लाइक दिस वेर ऑल द डिटेल्स आर मैंशन यू कैन सी द एडमिशन नोटिस फॉर यू जी पी जी एंड पी एच डी प्रोग्राम्स फॉर द अकेडमिक ईयर ट्वेंटी फाइव एंड ट्वेंटी सिक्स राइट सो दिस पी डी एफ विल गोइंग टू हेल्प यू टू गेट ऑल द डिटेल्स एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी विल गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट दैट सो लेट्स डिस्कस दिस क्विकली सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू कैन सी दिस ऑल द एप्लीकेशन आर इन्वाइटेड फॉर द रिसर्च प्रोग्राम इन पी एच डी एंड एम टेक बाय रिसर्च and the course programs in engineering mtech mds master in management and mtech through cfti mode joint mtech one year mtech engineering mtech mds for sponsored category candidates and also the applications are invited for integrated phd programs you can see this you have to just visit the website of isc bangalore go to the admission sections and you can find out the list of all these programs so one by one let's discuss this first of all you can see this the mtech in research in phd in engineering for, is available for aerospace engineering atmospheric and oceanic sciences chemical engineering civil engineering computer sciences and automation earth sciences electrical communication engineering electrical engineering electronic system engineering management studies only phd is available material engineering mechanics engineering nano science and engineering phd only is available design and manufacturing sustainable technologies and computational and data science for all these courses mtech by research and phd is uh, open for isc bangalore you can see this further details are given to you here the eligibility is given for all these things right so you should have being bachelor's degree in engineering and technology a four year bachelor course in science and you need to have a valid gate score to get into all these courses based on that you have different different list of the eligibility degree that you need and the eligible exams that you need to qualify <clears throat> let's move ahead with this you can see this you have to possess a valid gate score which is valid till 1st of august 2025 for this mtech by research and phd programs the selection procedure is simple the shortlisted candidates based on the gate score will be invited for an interview candidates are shortlisted for an in person interview based on their performance in the national entrance test which is a gate examination for the engineers and based on your performance in the interview your final selection will be made in the mtech by research and the phd programs i hope you are aware about this if you want a phd program you have to have a valid gate score for landing yourself into isc bangalore let's move ahead with this you can see this you have to just register yourself the eligibility is given to you the selection process is simple based on your performance in the interview your final selection will be made the selection is based on the performance in the interview short listing criteria is your gate score then let's move ahead next is the course program offered in engineering that is mtech mds or master of management program or one year mtech in engineering joint mtech so these are all the mtech programs for different different specializations you can see this for the departments like aerospace engineering we have computer science and engineering we have civil engineering material engineering sustainable technologies semiconductors earth and climate sciences signal processing so for all these things you need to have a valid gate score the selection process is 100% gate score there will be no interview and based on the merit prepared form your gate score your selection will be made here next in bioengineering electrical engineering electronics and communication engineering electronic product design so for all these list you have the selection process 70% gate score and 30% will be the score of your interview so combinedly your gate score and your interview score will be combinedly used to prepare the final merit for your selection in these courses then you have artificial intelligence and chemical engineering for these courses also you can see this based on 70% gate score and 30% performance in the written test so if you want to enroll in the mtech program of artificial intelligence and chemical engineering you need to have a valid gate score and now after that you have to write down the examination that will be conducted by isc bangalore departmental wise for getting into 
कंप्यूटेशनल एंड डेटा साइंसेस अगेन द फाइनल सिलेक्शन विल बी 70 परसेंट गेट स्कोर एंड 30 परसेंट विल बी परफॉर्मेंस इन द रिटर्न टेस्ट द एलिजिबिलिटी इज सिंपल द एप्लीकेंट प्रोजेसिंग अ मिनिमम ऑफ सेकेंड क्लास और इक्विवेलेंट इन अ बैचलर्स डिग्री इन अप्रोप्रिएट फील्ड ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड टेक्नोलॉजी बी बी टेक बी आर और इक्विलेंट एग्जामिनेशन कंडक्टेड बाय द प्रोफेशनल सोसाइटीज लाइक यू हैव एम ओ ई यू पी एस सी ए आई सी टी ई आर अवेलेबल लाइक आर एलिजिबल फॉर दीज कोर्सेज लेट सी दिस द कैंडिडेट्स एनरोल्ड अप टू थर्टी वन फाइव ट्वेंटी थर्टीन विद प्रोफेशनल सोसाइटीज लाइक ए एम आई ई आर ऑल्सो रिकोगनाइज by aicte are also eligible for these courses so those students who have done their open btech or be program through amie is also eligible for this mtech mds programs again <coughs> the selection process i have told you now sir how to enroll in these uh, courses first of all you have to register in this common offer acceptance portal coap portal which will be launched around in the month of march after that you have to visit the website of isc bangalore and for a particular course you have to use the registration id of this coap registration and using that id you have to register yourself in isc bangalore website right where that link for the course is given to you so first you have to register for coap one registration id will be produced using that registration id you have to visit isc bangalore website and you have to use that cuap id to register yourself for that course then only you will be considered for that course okay then only your gate score will be considered that on, then only your interviews will be scheduled or examination will be scheduled okay let's move ahead with this <clears throat> then you have this master of design mdes program which is offered by the department of design and manufacturing eligibility is simple all the engineering candidates having minimum of second class in bachelor's degree are eligible for this course the selection process is simple 70% will be your gate score and 30% will be your performance in the interview then you can see that master of management it is offered by the department of management studies it's a fantastic course to pursue if you if you want to orient yourself towards the management side again it is the masters degree offered in management by isc bangalore and the best part is engineers are available they don't have to write down other management examinations if you have a gate score you can opt for this the only thing is they going to conduct a separate exam for it so you have to face that departmental exam followed by an interview and then you will going to have a combined mix of gate score that examination conducted by the department and the interview so eligibility is simple minimum of first class or equivalent bachelor's degree in engineering and technology is required selection process i told you that 70% sorry 15% will be your gate score 15% will be your ug performance whatever will be your marks in be or btech that will be given as 15% weightage then 30% will be your communication skills and 40% will be your performance in the interview so this will going to give you a total that will help you to get selected for master in management program which is conducted by isc right so these these are the complete details about the engineers who have just completed their btech and they want to land into isc bangalore so if i have to just summarize this you have three four options first one is mtech by research second one is the normal mtech program third one is master of management program and fourth one is master in design or master of design and fifth one is for the students who have completed their masters it is the offer for phd program so you kindly visit the website of isc bangalore to check out all the details eligibility is simple and the selection process is also simple but short listing will be done using the coap portal so don't miss out coap registration will start from the month of march and when that registration will start we will definitely going to update you so i hope this information was useful to you thank you for watching